Welcome to Together in Style. Today in my kitchen, I'm gonna share with you my recipe for a spiced pecan peach cobbler. My husband and I went to the orchard not too long ago and we went and we picked these amazing peaches. But in the car ride, I know that he was telling me that he was longing for some peach cobbler. So I decided to spice up the recipe and make it my own. I'm gonna share with you the ingredients that I have. I'm actually using Bisquick, so it'll be light and fluffy. Just some milk, honey, a stick of butter, some dark brown sugar, pecans of course, and a little of quick oats just to make things nice and crunchy. So I'm just gonna take the peaches, wash them, slice them in half, take out the pit, and then slice them up into nice little pieces to layer the bottom of my nine by 13 Pyrex glass dish. So let's get started. So I've already cut up all of my peaches and layered the bottom of my glass dish. It took me about 10 peaches to, uh, to cut up to make this all happen. Um, it just really depends on the size of the peach. My peach was pretty normal, um, just like your average size. Now I'm gonna take and make the topping for it. So I had mentioned before that we have some Bisquick. There's two cups of Bisquick that I'm just gonna pour right into the mixing bowl. Oops, just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take a half a cup of firmly packed dark brown sugar. Just I'll pop that right in there as well. I have one cup of just whole milk. Pour that right in there. We're gonna put a stick of melted butter. Delicious. And now I'm gonna also add about a half a cup of quick oats. Again, this is just gonna make a little bit more crunchy of the topping, so I'm gonna put that in there. So I had mentioned that it is a spiced peach pecan cobbler, so I am gonna add a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Put that in there. And we're gonna add in just a teaspoon of nutmeg and also a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm gonna put that in there. And last but not least, we're gonna add in Mr. Bear. I love adding honey. If I can add some kind of natural sweetness, it's always, always delicious. So let me put that in there. And we're just gonna add in a half a cup. Oh, that's so beautiful and so rich. All right, let me put this over here and we're gonna just put our mixing tool on our KitchenAid. Pop that right in there. And of course we wanna lock it down and we'll just add it up just a little bit further. So I'm just gonna give it a, the last good whip. And let's turn it right off. Unlock this baby and we're gonna start to put all of this on top of the peaches. I love this recipe because it's the end of the summer and fall soon approaching. And the smells and the taste of cinnamon and nutmeg really remind me of that. I have already preheated my oven to 350, so it's nice and hot. So all I'm gonna do is just pour this batter right on top. Perfect. I'm just gonna spread it out so it evenly coats the peaches, or at least coats them enough. It's a perfect accessory to this peach cobbler, are these pecans. And in a lot of southern traditional desserts, I always, always taste those pecan flavors, and so it really reminds me of you know, a southern uh, recipe. So while this might not be Charlie's mom's peach cobbler, it will definitely have some familiar, you know, tonalities of it. Now that I've gotten this peach cobbler created, I'm just gonna pop it in the oven for an hour on 350. I can't wait to smell the aroma in the air. So I'm gonna share with you a great recipe to make a coconut cream whipped cream. I'm not really big into dairy, so I decided that I wanted to have some whipped cream on my peach cobbler, but I didn't want it to be filled with dairy and very, um, very heavy. So the coconut milk is great for this. You do need to get a coconut milk, though, that when you open the can, it's going to have a 
really thick layer and on the bottom of the coconut you're gonna have like the watery stuff. So it'll actually say on the can that you need to mix it well. Don't, not for this recipe. In fact, I'm telling you, you need to put it in the refrigerator overnight just to make sure that it gets a really good solid form. I'm not sure if you can notice, but this was actually in my freezer and so was this utensil. You wanna get your kitchen gear as cold as humanly possible when you are actually making any kind of whipped cream. So I'm gonna start off by getting just the nice creamy layer into the bowl. And there is still a lot of coconut water on the bottom of that. You can save that and make it with a cocktail. Do whatever you wish. All right, and I'm gonna take another can of this. Now that I have the coconut cream that's separated from the coconut water in the cans, I'm gonna now put it underneath my KitchenAid and we're gonna whip it up. While this is whipping, you're gonna notice that it's getting a little bit fluffier and fluffier each time it goes around. Having it go fast also adds a lot more air in it. So I have a little powdered sugar that I'm just going to gracefully add in about three tablespoons. And get some off the sides. It's looking good. And I would say to whip it for probably a good 60 seconds, just to get as much air and as much mixture as possible. Looks great. So I'm just gonna pull this out. Perfect. And you're gonna notice that when you take it off of the KitchenAid that there's gonna be a nice peak at the end of your beater. Perfect consistency. Oh, it smells and looks so delicious. I can't wait to try this. I have a lot of family from the Carolinas, so I knew that when I was developing this recipe, I had to do it right, and I had to make something so delicious, because they fix a lot of peach cobbler down south. So I'm just gonna spoon some in my little bowl. Oh, the crust is just perfect. Nice and cake-like, with a little bit of a crust right on top. Now to add my coconut cream. It's gonna be the perfect, perfect match. Great. And to finish it off, a little fresh nutmeg. So there you have my take on peach cobbler. I mean a spiced pecan peach cobbler that is.